What's going on guys? This is Bronco Juggle and welcome back to Slashback Saturday. Today's category is Slashers Plus, as in slasher movies that border or infringe upon other genres. And today I am doing the 2016 Netflix original film, Hush. Directed by Mike Flanagan and starring Kate Siegel, not Katie Siegel, Kate Siegel. Uh, the couple also wrote the film and they just happen to be married. Our story is that a young deaf woman who is a writer who lives alone in a very isolated area with only one neighbor is trapped in her house and stalked and toyed with by a, a killer, a mass killer. Now guys, I am going to keep this one relatively spoiler free because there are still a lot of people that have not seen this film. And I definitely recommend if you haven't seen it, you need to go see it. This was done by the same writer-director who did Oculus and uh, Ouija Origin of Evil. And in my opinion, this is the best one of his films. He also did A Haunting on Hill House, the Netflix series. And uh, yeah, so the guy's pretty talented. His wife is pretty talented. And... I love this movie, guys. I first saw this movie when I was having a pulmonary embolism a couple years ago in the hospital. Uh, I was sitting there, you know, trying not to die. <laughs> and uh, at night, I, I couldn't sleep there very well because all the machines and all that shit. So I would turn off all the lights, or I would have the nurses turn off all the lights since I wasn't allowed out of bed, and shut the door and everything like that. And I would watch this on my phone, on my table. I would watch horror movies. And this is one of the movies that I watched. Uh, this movie is so good that Stephen King himself has written about this movie. He compares it and says it belongs right up there with Halloween. Uh, William Friedkin, the director of The Exorcist, says this movie is terrifying. And, well, I mean, for people that aren't totally desensitized like myself, it is a pretty scary film. And it's a really good film. I love this movie so much. Um, I have no cons for this movie, guys. I really don't. This is a very good, highly, highly recommendable movie. And I highly recommend it. Duh. First thing I love about this movie is I love the concept. We have a deaf and mute main character who is acted terrifically by Kate Siegel. Uh, her acting is so good in this movie, and I fucking love it. Uh, there is a point where she does talk in the film, but it's kind of like in her mind. And I'm trying not to give anything away here. And it's a really cool interaction, and I fucking love it. She is such a good actor. But I love the concept of this movie, guys. I love that we have this killer who was actually... He kind of just stumbled across her. And he decided that he's like, whoa, this chick's deaf. And he starts playing with her. He plays games with this woman. And that's why I love this movie so much. That's one of the reasons I love this movie so much. I love the production of this film. It looks amazing. It's directed extremely well. It's shot well. The music is really good with it. The atmosphere that is created is creepy and terrifying and intense. And it's just overall a very well put together, well done film. There's only five people in this movie, guys. Five people in this whole film. And in my opinion, those five people do an amazing job. And for the most part, there's only two people in the majority of the film. I love the man, and that is what they call the killer. That's how he's credited, because we never get his name. They just call him the man. He's played by John Gallagher Jr. And I think he does an amazing job. You can tell that this guy... I love the way he, he does this. It, it, it's like he's just going to work on any other day, and he's just going about his business. There's no real psychotic rage or anything like that. He's just normal. You know, and I think that's pretty creepy. And in fact, that's more terrifying to me than people that are screaming and yelling and, you know, being crazy. Uh, the only time he screams and yells is when something happens to him. I love the blood and the gore in this film. It's very well done and it's practical. Now, I don't just mean practical effects. I mean that it is practical to the film. This is not a gore-fest movie. 
This is not cheesy gore. It's not um, filled with blood and guts. Now, there is a lot of blood, but it's not filled with all kinds of, you know, yards of guts hanging out and uh, decapitations every two seconds. It is done very well, and it fits this film perfectly. So good, guys. The acting, so good. Like I said, all five people do great jobs, but I gotta, once again, give it to Katie Siegel. Kate Siegel, sorry. Now, you might be asking, this is just your typical slasher movie. We even talked about this in a stream a few days ago. I consider this a slasher film, a pure slasher. But I can concede to where people would say that it borders on or could be partly a home invasion film and also a sensory deprivation film. I can see both of those points with this film. And that is why I'm doing it for Slashers Plus. I still consider this to be a pretty pure slasher, but with just an ingenious concept. But I can see why other people do consider it a home invasion film and also a sensory deprivation film. So that's my review for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really want to just talk about this movie. I want to get really into it. But I've come to find that there are still a lot of people that have not seen this movie. It is a Netflix exclusive and it does not have a physical release. You will not find this on Blu-ray or DVD. Hopefully, we'll get one sooner or later. In the meantime, though, guys, this is Bronco Juggalo saying thank you again for watching. Check out everybody doing Slashback Saturday. Check out the homie Joe the Horror Man who created Slashback Saturday. And peace. Bloody screams of seven.